Hey, it's Chris Knowles, and welcome to another installment of Isofox Tutorials. Today we're going to be going over motion tracking, parenting, and how we can use those tools to change someone's eye color. Now we did this before in a skit we did a couple of weeks ago, you may or may not remember. Yeah, so it's pretty simple, pretty easy to do, only takes a, about 5-10 minutes depending on how you want to do it. Now this is something that you want to do for a short skit, so I recommend you use actual contacts if you want to do it for a whole movie. But this is uh, just a cool effect you can do in After Effects that doesn't take very long at all. Alright, so let's get started. So let's go ahead and make a null object. Let's go to Layer, New, Null Object. We'll deal with that later. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We want to track her eye right here. Find a place that has a higher contrast, so where the pupil is. So you go to the Tracker tab, and then you hit Track Motion. You may have a different setup than I do. This is just how mine looks. And once you do that, you'll get a little box like this. And what this box is for is for tracking objects. It'll track anything inside the box. Bring this guy up here. That seems like a good spot. From there, you will uh, find the Analyze, and then hit Analyze Forward. Alright, so that's pretty good. See how it follows the pupil. Alright, so what do we do after that? We're going to hit Edit Target, and we want it to attach to the Null. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Apply Dimensions X and Y. OK. So now the Null object is attached to that tracking data that we just put in. So no matter what, this little square will follow her pupil but only for as long as we've tracked. Once you have that null object, you can basically do anything you want with it. So for our case, we want to change the color of her eye. So let's go ahead and go to Layer, New, Solid. Let's go ahead and change the name to Eye Color. Once this pops up, you can choose the eye color that you want. It just makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to go into color correction and change it later. Let's change it to a pinkish red. Okay. Make it so you can't see that for now. The next step is to uh, hit the pen tool and mask around the eye. This is where it would get different for some people because they might have a different method. So let's go ahead and trace as best we can. And a little trick for the pen tool, if you've ever used Photoshop, then you know how it works. But if you want to add another vector point, wait till the pen has the plus sign. Click it, hold down control, and drag it. If you want it to be a curvy rather than an angled point, you hold down alt, and then you drag. You have a basic outline of the eye, but it's not going to follow it. And this is where parenting comes in. See this little thing where it says parent right here? That's called a pick whip. All you have to do for this part is click and drag, and you can tell it where you want to parent it to. So if we parent it to the null 2 layer, which is our tracking data layer, it'll now follow the tracking data. All that needs to be done is refinement so that it stays with the eye's shape as it goes on. To do that, you go in the mask settings where it says mask path. You want to hit the stopwatch. That'll create a keyframe. And to move forward or backwards frames, you can either hit page up, page down, or just use the uh, scrubbing tool. So let's move forward a frame and see how it doesn't match perfectly. We can just move that over and now it'll stay for each frame. This is just one method. So basically this is how it turns out. Follows her eye pretty well. So 
So now that we have the basic shape rotoed out, next step is to hit the eye again so that we can see that layer. But that doesn't look like a really good eye color, does it? I have the mask selected, right click the mask, go to mask, feather, give it a feather of 5, that way it gives it a more uh, realistic tone to it. From there, you can change the mode to overlay. That way it takes the layer underneath it and blends it very nicely rather than just using the opacity tool. And to change the color and tweak it a little bit, you uh, highlight the eye color, go to effect, color correction, brightness contrast. You can always change the intensity, but we'll use this for now. Alright, so that's all there is to it really. Of course you can refine it and do what you want with it, but that's just the basics of it, so you can get started and do whatever you want with it. We'll be trying to do as many short videos as we can, and try to go over as many of the effects that you see in our videos as we can. If you ever have any questions relating to our effects, or want to see something done in the future, let us know and we'll get to you as soon as possible. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. Be sure to like our Facebook to get updated and subscribe.